foods are helpful for blood circulation, artery strengthening, joint pain reduction, immune system enhancement and character development. Since they energize, it boosts serotonin, the happy hormone. It produces energy in a brief period of time. Tura and Nahal, Ayat 11 says that he causes to grow for you thereby the crops olives, palm trees, grapevines and from all the fruits. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who give thought. So we mentioned in Quran, in the following surahs, chapter 2, surah Bakara, verse number 266, surah and Anam, chapter 6, ayat 100, surah Rad, chapter 13, verse number 4, surah Nahal, Chapter 16, verse number 11, Surah Nahal. Chapter 16, verse number 67, Surah Bani Israel. Chapter 17, verse number 91, Surah Kauf. Chapter 18, verse number 32, Surah Mumin. Chapter 23, verse number 19, Chapter 36, Surah Yasin. Verse number 34, Chapter 78, Surah Naba. Verse number 31 to 32, chapter 80, Surah Abasa, verse number 28. Grape skin is thought to be particularly beneficial to digestion as it relieves constipation, is good for colon, relieves heartburn, and aids the liver in breaking down all fat cells, B and K vitamins. Health benefits of grapes It removes fatigue and combats anemia. Sugar makes up about 20 to 25 percentage of this substance and reaches the bloodstream swiftly. As a result, it is beneficial to those who exert physical and mental effort as it relieves physical and mental exhaustion and combats anemia. Beneficial to the liver, kidneys and digestive system. Each grapes abundant iron and sugar promotes blood production and function as a natural medication for disorders of the liver, kidneys and digestive system. They stimulate the kidneys and aid in the excretion of wastes like urea. Reduces inflammation and excessive blood pressure. Grapes help to decrease high blood pressure by removing extra water from the body. Grape juice is indicative for patients with stomach ulcers, gastritis, joint inflammation, small intestine inflammation, rheumatism, tumid liver or spleen as well as those who have been poisoned.